Today is Monday, November 22nd, 2021. Yesterday was my 60th vlog in a row. And you know what I said 31 days ago? Maybe drop a thumbs up. <clears throat> Y'all didn't hear me say that. Y'all didn't hear me say that. Look, it's been 30 days. And I ain't never asked one of you guys to put a thumbs up on the video, okay? It's been 30 days. I ain't it. It's been 30 days. I'm gonna only ask for a thumbs up every single 30 days, okay? So on day 60, expect me to ask for a thumbs up. I, I so look, if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, it was my 60th vlog in a row. So please go give it a like. Yes, sir. Go like that video. I didn't even tell y'all to like the video, but go give it a like. Thank you very much, please. All right. Okay, never mind. Hold up, because I, I got myself a cookie from Starbucks. I'm horrible. I know. I shouldn't be spending money. It's bad. I'm on break right now. I just found out I didn't get the job at Starbucks. They gave it to someone else, which is fine. It's fine because Chipotle way better than Starbucks anyway. But, um, hmm. What else was I going to say? I'm cool working at Chipotle, to be honest. It's not bad. It isn't bad. Um, what else? What else? I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. All right, well, I'll see you when I get off of work. This no social media thing is kind of good for me right now. Right now, I'm going to just eat. And, and I'm going to watch some more car videos on YouTube. All right, I'm out of work. Should I go to Starbucks or save my money? Should I go to Starbucks or save my money? We're not going to Starbucks today, but I do got to use the restroom, so I'm going to go back into work and use my restroom over there. Forget Starbucks restroom. Yo, I got to the other side pretty quick today. I got off at 3. I'm in my area at 340. Not bad. Now, picture this. I get on the bus, right? There's a person behind me blasting music out his phone hella loud. So I pull out my phone, start blasting music out loud too, out of my phone. The bus stops, right? The bus stops at a stop before my next stop. So it's this stop and this is the stop I want to get off at. But the connecting bus is right before this stop. I noticed the bus driver's taking a while. I'm like, what's the bus driver doing? And I guess he's setting up for someone on a wheelchair. So I get off that bus, start going because I don't want to miss my bus. As soon as I get off, I see the bus that I need to take, the connecting bus, cross the street. Now, now hear this. I'm 0 0.4 miles away from that spot. 0 0.3, whatever. I see the bus, I start running. Because I know I'm going to have to wait another 20 minutes if I don't catch that bus. I kid you not. I'm running for like a good minute. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm losing my breath. And I kept going, I kept going. I made it the last second. Those, the bus doors were like slightly closing and I had to run a far distance. The bus is all the way over here. I'm all the way over here and I'm running, 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 turn, 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 boom. And I start banging on the door and he opened it and I was like this, <sighs> boom. Cause I didn't want to wait 20 minutes and now I'm here at Wingstop about to do a job interview which honestly if this job interview goes good I might take it I might take it just because it's closer to my house you feel me yo I got the job at Wingstop they hired me at Wingstop so for two weeks I'm gonna be doing Chipotle and Wingstop I gotta let Chipotle know that I can't work evening shifts but when do I put in my two weeks, bro? Damn. I'm going to be doing morning shifts at Chipotle and night shifts at Wingstop. But she hired me, so. But you, you want to know why Starbucks didn't hire me? 
Because I told her I wouldn't start right away. I told her I had to put in my two weeks first. That was my fault. But here, I told her, I told her that I'll work mornings at Chipotle and night shifts at Wingstop for two weeks. And then just night shifts at Wingstop. That's what I said. That's what I told her. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Fuck it, why not, bro? You never know. Plus, I'm going to be a cook. I'm going to be a cook. Every job in America is understaffed. Wingstop, they just called me. I just got the job, right? And then they just called me asking if I could come back later for the night shift. So I'm going to go in for training. So I'm going to just go home. But I had so many things planned. But I kind of want to get this training done with Wingstop. Um, but I was originally just going to go home. And... This is going to be tough. How am I going to upload YouTube? Because I don't get off till 1230. Night shifts at Wingstop is 5 to 1230. So around 5, the sun's already down. So for two weeks, I'll be working morning and night. It's just work, work, work. Now some people be like, Elias, come on, bro. You're wasting your life. Me personally, I think it's an experience. I've never experienced working two jobs at the same time. So for me, that's part of my life experience. I don't see it as a waste, but I see it as an experience. Does that make sense? You want my socks? Those are cool socks. They don't fit me. I don't want them. Yeah, because my feet, feet been in them. Huh? Because my feet been in them. Can I record your socks? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Ugly ass socks. I'm going to do... Since I'm not going to the gym today, I'm doing... I'm doing two sets of ten like this. Two sets of ten. Why am I wearing my mask? Here we go. We're gonna do 10 wide, 10 in, and then five like this. Seven, seven, right. I could have kept pushing, but I just, I don't know. Pull-ups are so weird for me to keep pushing. It's so much harder than just pushing up one weight because one weight, you know, it's just one weight. But with pull-ups, it's your whole body. I don't know. It's just a mind thing for me that I got to get over. We'll do, we'll do five, five. Damn. Come on. One more. One more. Those don't even count, bro. <laughs> You know, my plans today were just to come home, hit the gym, come back. I won't be out till 12.30, maybe one. We'll see, bro, because at least I get to use the car to go to work tomorrow. I don't have to wake up at 6 in the morning tomorrow. I just wake up at uh, like 7, leave at 7.30, get to work on time. All right, I just got out of work. It's like 1.20, 1.20 in the morning. 
I still got to edit this vlog, upload it, wake up at 7 and go to work tomorrow. I think... No, I don't think. I'm going to... This is what I'm going to tell the lady who hired me at Wingstop. I'm going to tell her, hey, I know what I said during the interview. And, you know, I would love... Uh, and after today, I would love to work more with you guys just during Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. See what she says. And then I'll say, unless I could get morning shifts, then I'm willing to leave Chipotle. Because Chipotle gives me the hours I want. They're flexible with me. Chipotle, they, they care about their employees. I could wear my earrings. You know what I mean? But here at Wingstop, it's a little bit more like the CEO is kind of more or whoever runs is more money hungry. Than caring about the employees. I don't know. I can't record in Wingstop. I can't nothing. It's they're like OD strict. I will say they are paying me more hourly than they are paying me at Chipotle. But the price difference is twenty five cents. They give me um. I can't say. I can't say. But they give me twenty five cents more than what they give me at Chipotle. I gotta edit this vlog, but I'm so tired. But if I don't edit it, there's no video for tomorrow. So I'm gonna text the lady who hired me right now. And uh, this, this the, yeah. Thanks for watching.